Republican Congressman Byron Donalds is accusing the Congressional Black Caucus of some serious bias. He says the group is blocking him from joining because of his conservative political views. And CNN is trying to defend the move by blasting Donalds for supporting the former president, another Donald. But then he shot back with this. As a black man in America, I'm allowed to have my own thoughts on who I choose to support and who I choose not to support. I think that it's important, whether you're talking about the Congressional Black Caucus or the Florida State Legislative Black Caucus or the National Caucus of State Black Legislators, organizations I have been a part of in the past. And Donald's teeing off on the left and media on America reports. Great show. <laughs> the left always talks about, and the media always likes to talk about how America is intolerant, but it seems the only person, only group that's intolerant is them. Let people have their own thoughts, their own ideals, whether you're white, you're black, Hispanic, whether you're male or female, that's up to you. People should be free to actually communicate their thoughts and ideas and stand by them. They shouldn't be ridiculed or excluded because of them. Uh, Lawrence, isn't that what we're supposed to believe yep. is isn't that how we're raising our children yep. to make sure that that every voice is heard you know i hear you lawrence a, a couple things here first of all he attended an hbcu right he invests back into the community he's a businessman he talks about that i've had him on several times to really push him on that because i think it's important that we have strong leadership on the issue she didn't bring him on to talk about that. What she did was, which is what they always do, because apparently Trump broke the media, is that she <laughs> planned all, played all these sound clips and said, well, do you defend the president? The interview wasn't even about that. But th this is what they do. They don't want to talk about the issues. They don't want to talk about how to make uh, life for black America better. Let's put this on Donald Trump. It's fine if the CBC, uh, the Congressional Black Caucus, doesn't want to invite him in. I think he should start his own caucus and invite new people in that believe in liberty and want to rescue our community from the devastation that they have had. Meanwhile, they're sitting there in the middle of the rotunda kneeling with kente cloth with Nancy Pelosi, but not challenging her on the policies that are coming out of Congress that are harmful for black America. Well, I think the, the Congressional Black Caucus is strong enough to have yeah. a, a member who's got a different point That's of right. view. Um, and, and this is the first time a lot of people are seeing this new congressman. Is it CNN's fault, Greg? Oh, absolutely. I think uh, uh, Bri Brianna thought she could eat him alive like a plate of cicadas. Uh, thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah, yeah. She, she, so by good. the way, she always looks like she's suffering from the indigestion or gas right. from the cicadas. She's like, when, when she was, no while comment. he was talking, well, she's just like this. No comment. <laughs> She's like this, her face is like this the whole time. You know, it, CNN is becoming more racist every day. They believe that you can only be a certain kind of black. And if you aren't, well, this very dismissive, frowning white lady can pass judgment on you and run these little clips and make you feel like crap. CNN is in free fall, right? Because they hate, they, they, they were getting a decent rating as the hate Trump network, right? Mm -hmm. But Trump's gone, and you, so who do you hate? You hate everybody else. You hate, you hate, um, you hate, Trump voters, because they're still around. You hate Republicans. You hate religious religious conservatives or religious, even Democrats. You hate black conservatives. That's clear. CNN should merge with CRT, critical race <laughs> theory, and they should change their name to CRN. What do you say to that, <laughs> Zucker? Uh, he's, uh, you know what? That's going to go on the whiteboard. Tubin, Tubin would be there. Go oh, he's all over it. We don't need anyone. He's just hanging out. Tubing off over the subject. Wait. <laughs> 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 Subtle messages to the control room. So, <laughs> Jessica, you know, is the Congressional Black Caucus being, I don't know, biased here? So the Congressional Black Caucus has had conservative members before. Mia Love was a member of the caucus not too recently. She only lost her election a couple years ago, and they've had other conservatives in the past. So this is not a general rule. So they rule. checked that box. <laughs> well, to some degree, I mean, there aren't that many black elected officials on the Republican side. It's kind of, a, it happens every once in a while, and it looks like it's going to be happening a lot more. We certainly saw a wave of diversity in the 2020 election. My understanding, and I understand, and that their response w did not address it head on, but from what I'm hearing, the issue with Congressman Donalds is actually that he voted against the certification of the results. So they're not taking a stand about your Republican values. They're taking a stand about American values. What does that have to do with black America? It, what does that have to do with the improvement of it, black it America? It has to do with the fact that the Congressional Black Caucus is an organization that believes in democracy and the values of the Constitution. Oh, where's that and the, and really, the I, mean, I mean, it's, it's such a just dodge. Let me it's such I a listen dodge. to you. Just let me get it out. I, and listen, I'm not a... I'm clearly not a member of this group. I'm just explaining what 
I believe to be the rationale here, which is clearly not because he's a Republican or because he's black or because he's a black Republican. It is because he voted to delegitimize a 2020 election that has been found in every single audit to have been fair. And that is the problem with him, America not how he that. votes that and list? not Donald Trump. Uh, he was very impressive what? on your show today. He was. Thank you. America Reports' Byron Donalds came on to respond to that interview. When asked directly his response to it, he said pretty typical of other media outlets. When he chooses, which is often, to join them. He was asked finally in that interview by John Roberts, who did a great job with it. Um, he was asked, what do white liberals not get about African-American communities in this country? Mm -mm. His response is, we have diversity of thought. We all have ideas on how to improve the situation. They are not all the same. And I thought that was really important that he got that message out there. Uh, as far as poor communities, he said, why, why right now is the other party, the Democrats, not talking about inflation, pocketbook issues? Because this is what affects everyday Americans, including the African-American communities. And he believes his colleagues on the left are not directly addressing issues like that. He takes issue with that. Perhaps that's another reason why, Jessica. Well said, Sandra. All right. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.